Have you been asked to do something goofy, clownish, or suggested to do something goofy, clownish by somebody in the music industry? Absolutely. Like, absolutely. Like, I, like uh, I had a, um, a prominent A&R, I'm not going to say his name, but he was like, well, you're not ignorant enough. Now, keep in mind, I'm rapping about trap music. If you listen to any of my music, almost exclusively, I'm talking about uh, bells, pounds, you know what I'm saying, uh, vac sacks, you know what I'm saying, racks, packs. Like, and he said my music's not ignorant enough. Then I, I, it made me take a hard look at, like, well, well, what's ignorant? Like, I'm not, like, like, literally, I'm not dumb enough. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not, like, fucked up in the head enough. I'm not, like, popping enough pills or, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't got any charges. I, like, I can, I can, I'm a functional member of society. Nobody wants to see that. Not for no black person. And if you don't believe me, just look at any other fucking genre. Look at the star. I, Adam Levine did a Super Bowl. He looked like a regular white man to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been asked to do dumb, a, lot, a lot of dumb shit. I post this more, do this more, make sure you do this. It's like, no, like, I'm not doing, not doing that. Like, hopefully that's enough for the, to make it. I'm, a, I'm willing to go far to make it. I know it's an entertainment industry and I'm and I get it, but I still I got a code. I got respect for myself. Like I come from a a different place, a different era. I got I got I got a code to live by, you know what I'm saying? That's why I love the streets so much. I fell in love with the streets for that reason. I feel like street niggas, well, you know, the ones who really do it, they they live by a certain morality and principle and code. You can tell that the structure, like we we looked up to the to the to the biggest guy on the block. You know what I'm saying? Not because, yeah, because he was making money, but as you can just tell, like, he was on his shit. Like, his his bitch was bad, his kids was taken care of, his whips was fly, he was on it. Not because he could have possibly killed somebody, you know what I'm saying? Or he fights people in the mall every two seconds, he has anger problems, or he, like, because he has the coolest speech impediment. Nah, that's not, that's not, that's not cool. Not to me, at least. Um, this prominent A and R, who you referenced, do they work for a major record label, or Absolutely. did they at the time? Yeah, they do right now. They do right now, and you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pull up on him again with my new shit, and 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 hey, what do you think now? You feel me? Cause like again, I'm not gonna change my subject content. I, 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 I street motivational music is what I rap about. I, it's honest. I don't lie. I don't put on. I, don't, I mean, naturally, as a rapper, you're going to flex a little bit. Naturally. But, like, all my shit, most of my shit is, like, true. Like, I'm giving you true stories. And it's, it's cool shit and it's crazy shit. It's, not, it's unbelievable. But it's, but it's not dumb. That's just one thing I'm not going to be is dumb. I'll, I'll be more relatable, but I'm not going to be dumb. What was your, I know how you feel uh, about the, about your reaction when this a &R said it wasn't ignorant enough, <laughs> but did you relay the same response that you gave in this interview about that to this a &R as well? Did you have the same reaction to the a &R? Did you say, did you have the same feeling and energy and what you just yeah, said on yeah. camera to us? Hell yeah. Did I, you say this to the a &R, <laughs> Yes. and what was their reaction to that? Um, Absolutely. I was like, what, like, like, I'm like, I don't, I just didn't, I didn't get what he wanted because I thought ignorant, like, you know, that's synonymous with, with, with like niggas. And I feel like I'm a real nigga at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not preaching no, no, nothing. So when I, so when I, so when he said that, I was just like, what are you, what are you referring to? And he's just like, he's just like, I don't know. I just like, you know, ignorant shit, bro. Like, I just like, you know, like. I like him be a young boy. I just feel like he's like super ignorant. I'm just like, I, I, you know, I felt a little, I was disappointed because the, the a and had, had a reputation of, you know, working with like good artists. So I came, I came to him as a good artist. And he was just like, yeah, it's just not raunchy enough, not ignorant, not, not, just not. And I was like, and I, me and my, and my CEO, was looked at, we just looked at him like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Um, 
but I definitely kept that same energy. I, 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 don't, I don't know if y'all can tell. I keep the same energy everywhere I go. I don't, I'm not going to switch up too many times. What race, ethnicity, nationality was this A&R? Black, which was the most disappointing thing ever. Black, I was, uh, um, I, I'm not sure his, uh, his, his like cultural background, but black. And, you know, and it's crazy thing about it is, you have to understand, you, they working for white people in the day. So, yes, even though he's black, he's pushing a, a white agenda if he wants to keep his job. He still has to, you know, he's not only keep his job, but he's probably trying to, you know what I'm saying? Go up and up and up. And in order to level up, you got to sell records. And again, in order to sell records, you got to appeal to people buying it. And the people buying it is little, really like little, little white boys. And they're not interested. They, what turns them on the most, historically speaking, is seeing black people do really dumb shit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Or shit, shit that's like they would never in a million years imagine themselves doing. When it comes to who they want to listen to that looks like them, they want all the relatability. But when it comes to us, they just want us to be like, literally like a, sh like a, like a, like a, a show. Like, and not in a good sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we get locked up. We, we fuck a bunch of, of bitches. We get bitches pregnant. <laughs> we spend too much money on the, on the wrong shit. We, you know, that's, that's like, that's what gets people's gears going. Like, that's what makes people upset about black people. That's what makes people excited about black people. A lot of people, I'm not saying everybody, but I would say from a mass appeal, like selling quick, what, like, you know what I'm saying? That it's that thumbnail on World Star. The two thumbnails is like, it's a, it's a girl with her ass out and it's rapper gets locked up or rapper does 100 years in jail or, you know what I'm saying? He gets shot in, in the face. Rapper talks about all the and I get it. You want to sell, you, you want to get that click, but at the same time though, like I'm just trying to give you options. You know what I'm saying? If you want to listen to a real street nigga that gets it and that's still making like A1 music, I'm talking about Grammy, Grammy worthy music. I want to be the first street nigga to win a Grammy. Like to, or, or, or I'm not sure how, who, who all got Grammys, but I, I really want to be like make great music. But that comes from, you know what I'm saying? Like, or a real like street background, you know what I'm saying? That you don't gotta change change the station when your girl gets in the car, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you should be able to go to H and M and shop and hear Benji, and then still know, hey, he he really did that. That's what I want. When it comes to, was this the only prominent A and R you've ever dealt with? So, uh, um, nah, uh, well, I, yes, I would say like up close to personal sit down talk. Absolutely. hundred um, percent. It, it was, I had some connections, you know, my jeweler kind of knew, you know what I'm saying, him and whatnot. So, um, so he kind of set us, set us up.